views and opinions expressed did not necessarily reflect those of Access Fort Wayne, the Allen County Public Library, or any other supporting groups. If you'd like to produce a show, call us at 260-421-1250. Let me be your lighthouse so I can show you the way. Let me be your shining light to keep you from drifting away. Hello, this is Patty Hunter of Patty's Page. Thank you for coming to my show. I have a good and faithful co-host named John Dickmeyer. Hello, Patty. Hello. And my guest today is Thomas Wakeman. Hello, Thomas. Hello, thank you for having me. Now, you're a student. Yes, ma'am. Student. Last year at high school. Uh, just rolling through uh, finals week up here in a little bit. Mm -hmm. And it's one more semester, and then we're going to go off to college. Are you uh, homeschooled? Yes, ma'am. I am homeschooled. Uh, but for me, uh, I take most of my classes at Indiana Tech oh, good. for dual credits. Yeah, so um, I'm able to get a lot of college classes done here in high school. And then when I go off to college, it'll be uh, significantly easier. Yeah. So, uh, why we brought you here is uh, you working for an organization, or are you? Um, I am not affiliated with any organization. Um, I found out about uh, a lot of these programs that I'm here yes. to talk to you about. Um, I found out about them at the uh, Youth Education Summit oh. out in Washington, D.C. Um, I heard about them, and I thought, man, these are really important, and uh, I want to be a part of this because uh, so much of this information is incredibly important. You know, the information for the women and the children and the schools, you know, you know, you can't go without that. So, yeah, I your, was, uh, I wanted to be a part of it. Yeah. yeah. Your brother, Philip, I interviewed several years ago. You're following his footsteps, aren't you? Yeah, um, I'm following his footsteps, but, uh, you know, just, just trying to do the best that I can. And if uh, Philip's a good example for that, then uh, that's what I'm going to go on. Yeah. Right. So what is your uh, mission? Uh, so my mission is to reach as many people uh, with this information as possible. Uh, so I run three main programs. I run the uh, Eddie the Eagle Gun Safety Program. Eagle, Eagle. Eddie, oh, Eddie yeah. the Eagle. Yes, yeah. I remember that Yeah. from Phil. Yeah. Um, it's a program designed for uh, young kids, you know, what to do if they should ever see a gun. Um, there is another program called the School Shield Program. Oh, yes. Uh, that's where we get a safety assessor to come to local schools and to assess any threats. And uh, when they go to the schools, you know, if there is any threats that they, you know, see are possible, they will uh, tell the school and the school will make all the changes. And then uh, we got this new program, uh, Refuse to Be a Victim. Yeah. And that's just uh, basically training for women, you know, on what to do, you know, to be safe in everyday, you know, everyday life, you know, how you, can you be safe, you know, what, what things can you change to make yourself, you know, safer. Like like martial arts or something like that. Uh, no, really? it's yeah. not quite that. Like just like situational training, like situational awareness. Be aware. Yeah. Of your surroundings. Yeah, like the like the keys in between your knuckles or something like that. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty sad world where we have to do this. Yeah, it is. It is pretty sad. Well, your keys really are an important defense that people don't realize. Yeah. And particularly in a parking lot, yeah. uh, women at night in a parking lot, the keys probably are your best defense against someone that wants to do something yeah. bad. Yeah, and then like uh, special tips on like what kind of pepper spray to get, you know, stuff pepper like that. Pepper spray? Yeah, like what kind, oh, you know, right. yeah, stuff like that, yeah. That's, that is sad. Yeah. This is. generation, I thought, the more civilized this country is, well, I guess not. Yeah. So all pepper spray isn't equal? Yeah. So what's the best kind of pepper spray to buy? Um, I don't know that personally. I know that like uh, one, of the, one of the trainers would know that. Mm -hmm. um, they talk about stuff like that. So I think, yeah, I think the trainers would know more about that. So 
if someone out there is interested in answering that question, they need to contact one of the trainers that maybe you know that, yeah. that yeah. would be able to answer it. So you have a email address so we can be able to show that. Yeah. So, um, hmm. what made you become interested in helping people? Um, I've always been helping people, you know. Uh, it's something that's really close to my heart, you know, helping um, those who are in need and stuff like, uh, you know, shoveling snow for an elderly couple, you know, shoveling out their driveway, you know, that's something that I, um, I've always wanted to do, uh, not, not, not just because, you know, I like snow and stuff like that, good. but uh, yeah, okay. and then um, just helping like the little tykes, you know, helping as many of them as I can, you know, that's, that's a really big deal, and um, paying it forward to the next generation, you know, that's, that's something that's very important, yeah. With your programs, you're doing them all at once or separately or? Um, so they're mostly like separately. Like we'll schedule a date for like the Eddie the Eagle and then we'll get a couple people there, you know, get a good, good group of kids there and we'll train them all up. And then, um, you know, it's just scheduling, you know, getting a group of people who uh, want to be a part of the gun safety program and who want to be a part of the uh, refuse to be a victim. And then it's just getting, you know, a couple of assessors for the schools, you know, getting them. Um, schools are behind you. Uh, yes. I got a couple, uh, Three Oaks uh, school out in, uh, I think it's Burn, Indiana. Oh, so uh, you're around yeah. all Indiana? Just... Yeah, I am. Uh, I go around wherever I have an audience, you know. I'm willing to uh, take this information wherever I can. So, Is this yeah. volunteer work? Or... Yeah, it's volunteer work, yeah. That's good. Yeah. So, um... What do you, how do you talk at each, uh, for each program? I mean, what do you say, really? Um, so my favorite program um, is the Eddie the Eagle program. See that? Yeah, so uh, this, is the Eddie the, here? this is the Eddie the Eagle program right here. Um, this is for uh, a lot of kids. Uh, we got um, pre-K, pre-kindergarten. Pre-K? Yeah, we got pre-K um, all the way up to fourth grade. Um, that's definitely my favorite because you, uh, you got a lot of kids in there with a lot of spunk and a lot of character, you know, got a lot of spunky kids. Some of them, they just want to go up there, you know, they want to do the dance, they, you know, they, they're all about the video, you know. Uh, Gun Safe Program. Yeah. Eddie the Eagle, so it's a cartoon, really. Yeah. So, if you see a gun, stop, don't touch. Run away, tell a grown-up, and that's great. I love this. Yeah. I love this. Uh, how long have you been doing that? Um, so uh, when I first started, uh, I was just a little kid in the program with my oldest brother, James. But then um, I did it for Laura. You know, I was a, a, a student for Laura, and then I did it for my brother, Philip. But... Um, now actually doing this, um, this is my first year, you know, teaching the program, and uh, it's it's really incredible. How long are so, you gonna do that? Uh, I'm gonna do this my entire senior year, and uh, if there are a couple kids, a couple groups of kids, like uh, some, you know, uh, like church groups who want me to do it um, in college, then yes. I'll do it in college. Yeah, it's yes. a it's a big deal. Get this thing in the news lately about this two year old. Yes. You know, and and it, it could be anyone, yeah. but uh, children, mm -hmm. particularly young children, don't reason the same way that you and I reason. Yeah. And they'll see something and they'll think it's a toy. Oh, yeah. yeah. And and when they think it's a toy, that's where the problem begins. So this education is really, really important because it saves lives. Yeah, and um, the, just the, the most important part about it is just getting to these kids so that they know, you know, the problem isn't necessarily, you know, guns in households. 40% um, of all U.S. households have guns. Oh. The problem is, is that when kids don't know what to do if they see a gun that is improperly stored, 
like what do you you know what do you see what do you do if you see a gun in the attic you know like you know you didn't know it was there but now that you see it you know it looks cool you know you've played video games with it oh. you know you know you play games all the time but here's an actual gun you know you might want to touch it but you know that's that's not what we want these kids to get off you curiosity know, of kids they want to play yeah, and then the program, you know, with all these kids, you know, after the program, you have these kids running around just bouncing through the rooms, you know, just doing the stop, don't touch, you know, leave the area, tell an adult, you know, they, they do that. And it's, it's really important and it's really impactful to see them walk away doing stuff like that. So, yeah. So how do you have reminders like a uh, wristband? Or? Yeah, so um, for me, I have uh, another program. So one of the things that I'm also very passionate about is showing support for the police. Um, so I will go around to like different uh, police memorials and pass out these blue wristbands. Um, I think it's really important to show support for the people, you know, who protect us on a daily basis. It has a and, blue um, line on, in the black uh, band. What is that supposed to be? Uh, that's, the, that's a thin blue line that uh, separates um, that separates those who are lawful and who uh, obey from those who are not and uh, those who could do harm to us. So um, just having that, you know, is a great reminder that uh, there are wonderful men and women who put their lives on who the line. Who care. Yeah, who care tremendously. Now, what bugs me is that there are phone, phone uh, guns for the kids to get. Yeah. Don't they, shouldn't they have a uh, gun rack? Um, yeah, uh, if it's kind of up to the parents how they want to train their kids, but um, yeah. you know, if if parents, you know, the, the basic um, premise of parents, what should be the basic premise of parents when they talk to their kids about guns is guns are tools for adults. You know, they're they're tools for adults. You do not need to handle them. You should not handle them unless you are supervised with a trusted adult. Um, so that's that's the that's a big vibe that we're trying to get off here. And um, as if we can get parents to put their guns in a safe place and make sure they're safe, um, mm -hmm. while also making sure that you know they're obviously accessible for them in case they ever need to use a gun, God forbid. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, so um, if we can not only just tell kids to uh, you know stop, don't touch, uh, run away, tell a grown up, if we can teach that to the kids, but if we can also raise some awareness to the parents, you know, you should be properly uh, storing and handling your guns so that your children are not put into an unsafe situation. Well, how about uh, when you're working with the police, doing what? Um, so for me, working with the police would mean um, getting like a safety assessor for the School Shield program. Yeah, let's talk more about that. Yeah, so the School Shield program is a program where a uh, security assessor uh, will assess all the threats to like a local school or yeah. something. And uh, they will, you know, make all assessments uh, as to uh, this school is unsafe or the school is uh, safe or you can change this or that. So for me, it's going to uh, local officers and asking if they want to be trained in this program. Yes. Um, because not only uh, is it something that, you know, is important for these schools, but it's it's also really a big feather in their cap for them to be trained in something like this. Well, because yeah. This is a huge deal. So yeah. um, they do that and then... Um, they can have that with them and they can have that knowledge and experience so uh, yeah that, that's really important for them and for women to protect themselves uh, yeah that's uh, the refuse to be a victim program mm -hmm. uh, we also get some safety assessors uh, from law enforcement for that you go to schools or churches or uh, yeah we go to churches uh, we go wherever we have an audience of women mm -hmm. who uh, need information like this which is pretty much basically any woman, because in today's society, it's, it's kind of getting more mm -hmm. caustic and hostile, but um, we go uh, where, I go wherever I have an audience, and yes. uh, if we can bring this information to as many people as possible. How do you get to these uh, places? Did you, does someone drive you there all the time? Or? Oh, no. <laughs> I think my parents would be a little, a little bummed out about that one, but um, uh, for me, it's basically just having good connections, you know, yes. knowing the people who are, you know, in authority with these uh, these schools or these groups or everything, and you know, just having personal connections with them that helps out a lot. But uh, I, I do do most of the driving to and from. So oh, that's great. Well, we got uh, several minutes uh, to go. What 
programs do you have planned for 2019? Um, yeah, so um, I am fortunate enough to go out to several friends of the NRA banquets. Mm -hmm. um, I go out there and I speak to them. Um, I speak to them about yeah, a new generation inside of the NRA coming up to uh, lead a new legacy. And then um, I've also got several plans for Eddie the Eagle programs. That's good. Yeah, I'm planning. Um, I'm planning at least um, at least as many so that I could get um, at least another 500 more kids in the program. Mm -hmm. um, and I got a couple refuse to be a victim programs scheduled up. So uh, I'm really excited to uh, expand the horizons. So finally, before we show the cartoon of Eddie the Eagle. What would you like to share with my audience? To um, I am just really excited to come from here and to reach your audience because uh, your audience is obviously uh, a very uh, large group of wonderful people. Yes. And um, I'm this really. This is going on YouTube as well and being streamed online. Oh, yeah, I'm really excited for that. I've, I've always wanted to be online, you know. Uh, that's always <laughs> been something um, I thought would be interesting, but I'm uh, finally living it up, so that's pretty exciting. Um, I would just like to say uh, thank you to you, and um, uh, I'm really excited for your audience to get this information, yes. and uh, I feel like if they have any questions about this, they can contact me. Um, At that your would, email. Yeah. Um, what I, is that? Um, it's eweg. Uh, e w e g uh, 41 at gmail.com so uh, if they have any questions about this program or any other programs that I'm running or any other questions about me you know I'm I'm more than happy to uh, answer them and uh, you know um, thank you so much for doing this I'm proud and, uh, of you sir yeah thank you I'm proud thank of you, you so very much, much. so yeah. you yeah, are very you. important to this community and thank you John Dick Meyer my co-host will be showing this cartoon any other second now. Thank you so much for being on my show. And Throw us the ball. Gary! <laughs> Can't the goose destroy zombirds in peace? Hey, what's this? Um, are you going to throw it or not? Did you leave a backpack over here? <gasps> I thought it was yours. Mine has ice cream stains on it. Oh, good point. <gasps> a a gun. gun! Hum! I've never seen a real gun before. I dare you to touch it. Touch what? <gasps> oh my! Gary! It's not mine! I don't know where it came from! What should we do? Let's take it to the police. Let's take it over to my mom. She has a gun at home. She'll know what to do. It looks just like the ones on TV! And in my video game. Stop! Don't touch. Run away. Tell a grown-up sock. Don't touch. Run away. Tell a grown-up. What? Why are you singing? I learned it from my dad. It helps me remember what to do if I ever come across a gun. Hey, I learned this song at school. Stop. Don't touch. Run away, tell the crown up. Stop, don't touch. Run away, tell the grown up. Parar, no tocar, dejar el lugar y a un adulto avisar. Stop, don't touch. Run away, tell the grown up. When you see a gun, that's no time to play. Stop, then turn and run away. Whether here, there, or on a dare. Fly away fast, don't have a scare. Stop, don't touch. Run away, tell the grown up. Stop, don't touch. Run away, tell the grown up. Everybody out there needs to listen to me. This is serious if you see a gun, leave it be. This could really happen. Get ready to do your part. Don't touch that gun, be safe, be a way to eat smart. Stop, don't touch. Run away, tell the crown of stop. Don't touch. Run away, tell the grown up. What's this all about, Eddie? What's wing team rule number one? Safety first. Safety first? Before lunch? Before anything. Finding a gun is a dangerous situation. Goodness me. What gun? Wing team, thank you for doing the right thing. 
I'm proud of you. I'll handle this. Mr. Eagle, I sure was scared. I did not know what to do. Hmm. How many of you have questions about gun safety? Huh. Tell you what. I'll call your parents so we can meet back at our house for answers. And pizza. Oh, hey, cool. thanks, Dad. Yeah, wow. Thank you, Mr. Eagle. I've talked to Fiona about guns, but I never know how to bring it up to other parents. Anything I can do to help, Miss Falcon. Thanks for coming over, officer. You kids made the right decision. It's always the best choice to get away from a gun. Who wants pizza? I do. Pizza. Give <laughs> in. One at a time, Gary. Officer Wingman, I was pretty afraid today. Well, discovering a gun is a dangerous situation. But whether a gun scares you or not, you should always leave it alone. Dad's on the Squawk Safety Squad. I wouldn't have known what to do either if he hadn't taught me. You betcha, Eddie. What? what? I don't get the big deal. There's guns in my video games. Real guns aren't the same as the ones in your video game, Gary. Yeah, but... It's not the same. It's okay, Fiona. Tell him. My mom always told me that I should never touch a gun if I find one. I'm sorry I forgot that lesson today. But next time, you'll remember. Next time, I'll remember. And look great doing it. Like a true fashionista. Hey! <laughs> I was surprised to find a gun at the park. Well, you might find a gun in a few different places. In houses? With people who want to protect us. Sometimes your mom or dad or another adult may have a gun. And sometimes, a gun might turn up where you don't expect. But no matter where you see a gun, what should you always remember? Eddie? Stop! Don't touch! Run away! Tell the Krona! Stop! Don't touch! Run away! Tell a grown up. If you spot gun trouble, then on the double, just run the other way! It doesn't take much, just stop, don't touch, and you will save the day. Hey, stop, don't touch, run away, tell the Krona. Stop, stop. Don't, don't touch, touch. Run, run away, tell the Krona. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty fun. Oh.